I'm going to answer the most asked questions about these bunk beds in the minivan. Good afternoon guys it is a chilly morning here in northern Ontario I think it's like negative three anyways so as promised guys I'm filming the video talking all about the disco bed bunk bed system that I use in my minivan when I'm traveling with my sons so I'm going to show you everything uh, about them and how they work in the minivan and I'm going to answer some of the most asked questions people have about the bunk beds in the minivan. You can see I use the disco bed large cot system in the minivan. So you can see I have already assembled this one. Very easy to assemble on your own. Or if you hear dogs, my neighbors have very barky dogs. Anyways, they individually come in these carrying cases. Just to let you know, these Oh, they're quite heavy. So if you have issues lifting heavy things, maybe have somebody else do it for you. Show you how simple it is to put the individual cots together. There. So you see how easy that is to put the cots together. This is what they look like individually. I love these side pockets. These are held on with Velcro on the side of the beds. And these discs connect with these double latches. You hold that down and the latch will go through the hole here on the disc. And hence the name Disco Bed. This is what allows it to turn from a cot to a bunk bed to a couch along with these attachments. This is going to allow this, these two to be stacked on top of each other to turn into a bunk bed. So first I'm just going to put one of the cots in so you guys can see what it looks like if you're thinking of maybe using these cots just for a single person in your van. Tell which one is supposed to be the top bunk and which one is supposed to be the bottom bunk. This one is the top bunk because it has the um, feet that will go into those extensions to be able to put on top of this bunk. So I'm gonna put this bottom bunk in first. Okay, so you can see I have the cot in the van. It's, see there's still space behind the cot for storage. Now I have this behind the passenger seat for a very specific reason. So there's two very different ways that you can have this in your bed. So you can either put the cot behind the passenger seat or behind the driver's seat, but there's two very distinct differences between if you have it behind the passenger seat and if you have it behind the driver's seat. So let me show you those. You can see when it's behind the dry or the passenger seat, there's quite a bit of storage. So this is this is a 62 liter tote, I believe. And you can see it still fits here. I'm still able to close my tailgate. So you can fit a big tote behind the bunk bed when it's behind the passenger seat. You guys know I use these three drawer plastic storage dressers when I'm traveling so you can see that it will fit back here the dresser and you can still close the tailgate so let me show you what happens when you have this behind the driver's seat so you can see I now have this behind the driver's seat and the space behind it there's not much there that's because when I had this these cots in the passenger seat or behind the passenger seat the passenger seat is 
pushed all as far forward as it can go. But you can't do that with the driver's seat because you need to be able to drive. So actually on our cross country trip where the four of us drove to Florida, I was the only one that could drive because the seat had to be far enough forward for this to be able to fit in the back. So that didn't leave enough room for my husband to drive because he's over, he's six feet tall. So I was the only one that was able to drive. So that's something to think about if you're gonna have it behind your driver's seat. You need to have your driver's seat back far enough that you can comfortably drive and that's going to reduce the amount of storage that you have uh, at the end of your bunk bed. So another question I get asked is how much storage is available underneath the bunk bed? There is a surprising amount of storage underneath the bunk bed. Let me show you. So again, this is one of the drawers from my uh, three drawer dressers, plastic dressers that I use. When I was traveling to Florida with the family, I was able to fit five of these underneath the bunk bed, which gave us a lot of storage. You can see they're just the perfect height to be able to fit under the bunk bed. And when they're turned like this, we were able to fit five of them for our clothes, all of our kitchen, all of our food, everything. So yeah, there's lots of storage underneath here. Yes, I know I need to vacuum the van. It's going through a clean out right now. So see, tons of storage, and it's unobstructed storage because there's no middle braces in the cots, they're just the two ends. So there's nothing to prevent storage going the whole length of the cot. You can see the storage container under there. And then the, both of the beds come with these handy storage uh, areas that have tons of pockets. You see it has a zippered pocket there, it has a bottle holder phone holder which is really nice okay so let's turn this from a single cot to a bunk bed so again like i said these supports will go on top of here they fit like this in the discs and then the other cot goes on top of it Okay, so you can see the bunk beds are in. It is capable to be done by one person. Here's the height clearance at the back. It does scrape here a little bit, but this is what it looks like when it's behind the passenger seat. You still see you still have the good amount of storage here behind the bunk beds. You can still fit a tote behind the bunk beds when it's behind the passenger seat. More importantly, it fits my fridge when I'm traveling behind the bunk beds, which is really nice. Now, another question that I get asked a lot with uh, about the bunk beds is, can you travel with the seats up in the bunk beds? And the answer is yes, certain seats. So, like I said, we are a family of four. We took the bunk beds on a cross country trip from Northern Ontario, so the tippy top of Michigan, to Florida, sleeping all four of us in the van. The two boys were in the bunk beds, my two teenagers. I was on the floor beside the bunk beds and my husband slept in the front passenger seat. Now we were able to have the two single rear seats up in the our Dodge Grand Caravan. But in order to have the two single rear seats up for my sons to travel, the bunk bed needed to be behind the driver's side. So I'll show you what that looks like. If you only need to have one single seat up for maybe a third person, then you're able to have the bunk bed behind the passenger side and you can put up the second row captain's chair. Now let me show you what we had to do when we have to, when we put the seats up with the bunk bed because you have to rearrange it slightly when you're converting the seats. So again, to put the third row up with the bunk bed in it's pretty simple again you got to move the bunk bed over okay 
So you see we have the bunk bed moved over to the driver's side. So if you can see, you can see by having this bunk bed slightly out like this, there is enough room to get this third row seat up. Like that. So you see putting the third row seat up is pretty simple can see that there's a slight problem with the front to be able to get this front seat up because this sits over the seat so that you're not able to pull it up so what we have to do is just pull the bunk bed slightly that way just to get this seat up and then we can put it back I'll show you guys okay so you'll see just by pulling the bunk bed slightly this way We've created enough room so that the leg is no longer over the seat. So then we can easily there we go. see there, the seat is now up. So then now that the seat's up, we just pull the bunk bed right back over and then you're able to sit four people and have the bunk bed in the van so you can sit all four of us one would sit here one sits there and the bunk beds are still intact all doors are able to be closed you see it is a little tight here with the tailgate but you are able to still close the tailgate You see it is right up against the driver's seat. So, yes, the disco beds can work when traveling with four people. Now, if you are a taller person, taller than five, four, which is what I am, but you need to have four people in the van with you, my husband and I did discover that if you just pop these off, off these discs, pop these legs off, they... It takes two seconds to put them back on, but if you pop them off, you can move this back quite a few inches and you would gain those inches on the driver's seat. So if you are a taller person and you need to travel with four people in the van, just pop these legs out and you'll gain those inches. Let me show you. So see, we would just pop these legs out, these ones, and that allows you to pull this forward more still have lots of room for the people sitting in the back and then look at how much more room it gives you for this seat let me move it back that's as far back as my seat will even go and it's still not hitting the bunk bed you can even move it forward more look at you still have all that room to go put recline your seat a little like that see so now even a tall person can drive and you can still carry four people and have the bunk beds in the van okay so now if you want to pop that seat back down again you just gotta pull the bunk bed this way And then you're able to access the stow and go. Okay, so now for this next part, I'm going to answer the most asked questions about these bunk beds in the minivan. But first, I need some demonstrators. Okay, so definitely the most asked questions I get is how much room is there for the person on the top bunk? How much room is there for the person on the bottom bunk? Will it fit people of certain height? So let's just demonstrate those all right now. So I got my sons here. So this one, Austin, he's six feet tall. So you'll be able to see if you're six feet, if you can fit in the bunks. Carbon's about the same. Carbon's about 5'10", 5'11". So I'll show you what it looks like when they're in the bunks. 
<laughs> see Austin just slinks up there on the top. Stretch out your legs, Corbin. Okay, so here's the both of them lying in the bunks. You see they can fully stretch out, even Austin there on the top. And there's even, Austin, put your head down. You see there's even a few inches left. So even if you're 6'2", six, 6'3", six, you can probably still sleep in these cots and have enough room. See, there's enough room that he can even put... See, he can sleep on his side. There's tons of room still. You can see even where Austin hang where Austin's hanging down on the cot, there's still lots of room for Corbin. Now, Corbin, can you sit fully up? No, right? See, he actually can sit up if you go like that, but you cannot like fit straight up in the bed, but there is tons of room on the bottom bunk for moving around, maneuvering. Now, when Corbin and I were on our road trip for a month to the southwest, I slept on the bottom. You guys know me, I'm not a small person, and I had more than enough room on the bottom bunk to move around, flip around, get in whatever position I wanted. Now, Austin on the top. See, lots of room for his feet. He can lift his head up. You see, Austin, lift your head. He can Now, can you flip around? See, there is room for him to turn over if he needs to. But we did find one trick. Because of the back of the uh, Dodge Grand Caravan kind of slopes down, Austin switched to this side. If Austin switched to the other side and has his feet towards the end, he has a lot more headroom because the ceiling is not as sloped there. Now, obviously, Austin cannot sit up in bed, but do you feel claustrophobic? No. No. So there's quite a bit of space between the person and the roof, and he can move around. He can flip over on his side, sleep on his side if he needs to. Lots of room. Ask, how do you fit three people sleeping in the back, fully stretched out, on our cross-country road trip? So you just saw where Corbin and Austin sleep. I'll show you where I sleep. So... I sleep here, so there's lots of room for me to stretch my legs. So you see I can fully stretch out. There's enough room for me to flip around. I sleep right here on the floor. I put my foam mattresses on the ground and it's actually very comfortable. So I sleep here, the boys sleep here, and that's how we sleep three people in a minivan with all of us being able to completely stretch out and be comfortable. Okay, so hopefully I answered most of your questions regarding using the large disco bed cots in your minivan to sleep more than one pe person if you're going on long road trips, or even if you are sleeping one person, having that top bunk there gives you an incredible amount of storage if you need additional storage in your van. So if you have any more questions regarding the bunk beds, absolutely just throw a comment on this video and I'll answer them for you. But in the meantime, we're gonna get these bunk beds taken back apart, turn the van back into a daily driver. We're 14 days and counting until we leave for Florida. We're hopping on a cruise again, so make sure you guys stay tuned for those videos. And in the meantime, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. We're almost 100 subscribers away from 2,000 subscribers, so just hit that subscribe button and help us out. And I'll see you in the next adventure, guys. Bye.